The United Nations Security Council holding an emergency meeting today on the violence in Gaza that left dozens of Palestinians dead. And it comes after the U.S. reportedly rejected a draft statement by the council calling for an independent investigation into the bloodshed. <laughs> A funeral held today for one of the youngest victims, an eight-month-old girl whose grandmother says died after inhaling tear gas fired by Israeli forces at a Gaza protest camp. Palestinian officials say yesterday's death toll reached 60 overnight and more than 2,000 others were hurt during demonstrations that took place during the opening of the new U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem. The embassy's move from Tel Aviv making good on Donald Trump's promise. Israel's defending yesterday's action, saying it was in self-defense. And U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Thank Haley you, praised Israel's response and put the blame on Hamas. Let's remember that the Hamas terrorist organization has been inciting violence for years, long before the United States decided to move our embassy. No country in this chamber would act with more restraint than Israel has. And more international reaction coming in. The French foreign minister calling the situation in the Middle East explosive and criticizing Israel for what he calls an unjustified level of violence. <laughs> Turkey, one of the most vocal critics of Israel's response to the Gaza protest, telling Israel's ambassador to leave the country today. And the UK is urging Israel to show restraint. Mr. Speaker, I'm deeply saddened by the loss of life in Gaza, where peaceful protests are being exploited by extremists. I urge Israel to show restraint in the use of live fire, and I take this opportunity to repeat the UK's commitment to a two-state solution with Jerusalem as the shared capital. And we're learning tonight a Canadian doctor was shot in Gaza during demonstrations yesterday. Dr. Tarek Lubani was shot in the leg while attending to injured protesters. In an online post, he says he was transported to hospital, stabilized and discharged after x-rays showed no bone injury. And reaction from federal NDP leader Jagmeet Singh tweeting today, outraged to learn that a Canadian doctor and humanitarian Tarek Lubani was shot in Gaza yesterday by IDF soldiers while providing medical assistance. Glad he's recovering, but how can Justin Trudeau remain silent on such indiscriminate violence? <laughs> Lubani made headlines five years ago when he and a Canadian filmmaker were detained in Egypt for weeks without charges. Lubani said they were passing through Egypt on their way to Gaza.